Stuart Alamo City Cello, and that's a snippet from um, Don Juan, this is a, a, an excerpt from Don Juan by Richard Strauss. It's on the 2014 Allstate uh, list for Texas, audition list. So I wanted to go over, um, starting at the Molto Vivo, at letter C, slowly. Uh, and so get your cello, we're going to have some fun. So we're starting at C, uh, at letter C. And let me play, for, play that for you really slowly. So one... Two. Let's take just that section there. So um, I'm starting it off in first position, second finger, B sharp is the same as C natural, so I'm starting it here. But you could also play it, an, a good alternate fingering would be to play this on the D string. Strauss only writes forte there compared to double and triple forte he's written in other places. So. You could do it from here, and um, C natural in fourth position is pretty easy to find. It's just uh, fourth finger, fourth position. So then, then shift a whole step back. And then either half position, or if you want to stay around fourth, you have second finger on the G string. So there's a couple different options, fingering options for you. Uh, but I like this one. Um, great, let's move on to the next section. The next section where the triplets begin. I'm going to play these separate bows, separate bows, uh, very slowly. Four, five, six. on the F sharp so that's so that's good I started on a I start on a D sharp so think of it as second position perhaps then shift up the whole step to extend back three four slowly again four five six So you have an extension in there, and then you have um, you have one time where a few notes where you're playing extended, uh, but then the rest is more closed position. So closed position. I'm already thinking about extension here. Then closed position again. Three, four. You know, a great way of practicing this would be to uh, use rhythms or multiple uh, bowing, something like this. So that the, the, the actual shift itself would be a little fast but a little bit more accurate. So practice it that way. That's a great way. Try that with me. So it's four pitches. Uh, four notes per pitch, it's all separate bows. Ready, go. So practice that a few times, that'll help. 
The other thing that's very helpful is rhythm. So a fast, slow, or and or slow, fast. So this rhythm. <laughs> And the opposite of that, which would be Let's try both of those uh, separately. So for, we'll, we'll start with da -da, fast low, fast low, fast low, four, five, six. Now the opposite of that, so slow, fast, slow, fast, ready, go. Clear as mud. Uh, now uh, as printed, but slow, but with the bow, with the uh, correct bowing. So. Try that with me. Four, five, six. Actually, it's triplets, so it's da do da di da da di da da di. So we want to, at this point really get the, the sort of rhythm right. So. That's the correct rhythm. The other I was playing more as a duple, which works out when you're doing the rhythms, but not when you're eventually playing it. You want to absolutely play as a triplet figure. So. Uh. Personally, I'm thinking of a more of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. That's how I feel it. Try that with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a pretty good fingering overall. I think you can get the speed up on it, and it'll sound pretty good. So, so it'll work. The next, the next uh, section, I use exactly the same fingering, but now I'm in first. I started off in first position, so let's try that one slowly, separate bows. Slowly with the with the slurs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Save your bow, save your bow. Four, five, six. A little faster. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready, go. I'm, as I go faster, I'm thinking bigger groups. One, two. Right. So the same method we were using before, separate notes could be very useful. All that good stuff so that you're getting your fingers even. You want your, your fingers super even there, right? So. Uh, and that just takes that takes work. That takes work to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, it takes practice, right? All right. So let's carrying on. Let's let's move on. Uh, this next section, my my precious parakeets. This is where you earn your keep. Uh, the next section after C. I want to count it off after C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After C. You want every single note here to be absolutely gleaming. The reason I say that is that this is an exposed section in which the cello, you really hear the cello. So at this point, we want to represent, right? <laughs> it's time to, you know, it's time to earn our keep right here. So I'm going to go through this slowly with you and uh, show you the fingerings that I've come up with. So uh, the first one is... So it starts off in, 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 in low first finger. It's still first position, but low. Then three, four. Then you shift up to E natural, first finger. Then two, three. Then a first finger shift. Uh, I'm shifting at the half step between the You want to 
get that shift where it's really good. Let's do inseparable slowly right there. Eight after C, four, five, six. <laughs> Again, that tempo, keep that tempo, four, five, six. You know, you may find other fingerings that work. I find these to be safe. I, my, my motto is grab the note, be able to play the note in tune. That's very important that we be able to do that. So let's try that again, four, five, six. Three, one. Can we try that faster? Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. As I go faster, I'm thinking bigger grooves. Ready, go. One more time. It'll work. It'll get the job done. That finger will get the job done. Next section. I'm starting this in the third position, first finger. Slowly, I'll play this for you. Again, slowly. So it's one, two, three. There's a whole step shift in there. That's a whole step. When you go from I'd like it to be a half step, but it's not my precious parakeet. <laughs> you have to do you have, you know, sometimes you gotta modify the thing, you know. It's doable. It's definitely doable. Again. If you think of it really being in the harmonic third position, then I think it's a lot more useful. You know, you're going to a known place. You feel like you're going to a familiar place, which is always good, uh, you know, just to have that security. Can we do that with the slur? Slowly, four, five, six. Save your bow, play near the bridge, four, five, Change the bow on three, one. And the, the ending of this, uh, probably a better camera angle would be good, right? If I'm like over this way. Oh yeah, looky there. Yes, that works much better, doesn't it? Let's just make a permanent sort of uh, adjustment here. Wait a minute, now you can't see my... Oh, you can, you can see. Thank you. That's much better, isn't it? Okay. Again. And to bring the thumb out is maybe a good idea at some point. Before the last shift. Uh, let's take it a little slower. Da -da -da -dee 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 -dee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, ready, play. Again, ready, play. <laughs> Quicker. Da -da -da -dee 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 -dee. Go. Again. Last time. Are those the right notes that I'm showing you? I, I like to fact check, make sure, so. Sure enough, they are, and that's good. Moving on, moving on to the next section. You're back in bass clef, take a look. Clef change, right? 
So I like starting this in, um, I like starting this in first position and then immediately shifting up to second. So, so can we try that together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. The next one, I start in half position and then immediately shift up. I know it's a long shift and maybe there's other fingerings, but I can find that E readily. I mean, you know, it's, it's in the hand, it's good. That first finger E this, right? Better to grab the notes, my, my lovelies. Better to get the notes, right? So let's, let's get those notes. You want that absolutely perfect. You want it perfect. Perfect is good, right? I want to move on. Show you what I'm using for a fingering here. So uh, it starts keep it just around first position, then move to second. You know, another one you could go, but I don't like shifting on four like that. Better is. Then you just have that all that chromatic right there. So. Uh, practice going from the E flat to the C natural. So it's really extended first position to second position. The next section. So start on the A string, open A string, extended to, and then shift up to the second next note. Let me get the right bowings though. They were right, they were right. So. It's good fingering. All right, so. Then immediately to second finger F natural, fourth position. I'm breaking one of my rules here. I really don't like shifting on the fast note. I really don't. And I'm not saying this is even the bestest of fingerings that are out there, but it's what I've come up with so far. You know, fingerings are a little bit like democracy. They're bad choices, except compared to all the rest. You know, it's the best of a bad lot. So I wish I could give you like a magic fingering, but this is what I've come up with so far. Your mileage may vary. I'd love to see your, um, your idea, your ideas, because perhaps, you know, they're better. Uh, but this is what I've come up with, and this is workable. This, this, this fingering will get the job done, okay? Now, the question comes up is, how do you know where to put your fingers in the upper range of the cello? And the fast and simple answer for that is, your ear tells you where to go. Da 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 da, lum da 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 da, ba da. So you're trusting your ear, and your ear is what's guiding your hands. So um, get that very solid in your inner ear, and 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 you'll be able to. Uh, it'll be easier. It definitely you need you need to do that. You need to have it in your ear. So sing it. Uh, a lot of my students are self-conscious about singing. If you're self-conscious about singing, hum but create the pitch. I don't know why so many musicians are self-conscious about singing, so uh, it's good to sing, sing it. So you, the whole point is you have to have it in your ear. So this, again, this section. So it's actually on up bow, isn't it?
clear as mud. Alrighty. Well, I, I really hope that this helps you and go through this. I think it will. I think it will help you. And if you'll go through this and um, yeah. All right. You're welcome and good luck.